Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is brought to you by Neck and Back Clinics and is scheduled for three three-minute rounds, all for the Tough Enough Women's Strawweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a record of four wins and no losses, fighting out of Victory MMA, San Diego, California, Nadine. Too much Mando! Her opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of five wins and three losses. Fighting out of Extreme Couture, Las Vegas, Nevada. Destiny, my time, McCovey! Your referee in charge of the action inside the cage is the one and only Chris Tyone. McCubbin is wearing the black and the white. Mondio is wearing the black on black. Three three-minute rounds. 115-pound ladies title is on the line. Chris Tyone is our referee, and we are off with no touch of the gloves here. Right to work. And Mondio right away putting that reach advantage to use. Staying on the outside. Both fighters willing to engage right here to start this fight. McCubbin throwing a lot of punches but falling very short so far. Mondia with a nice little slip uppercut. Lots of punches thrown in the first 30 seconds of this fight, Matt. Yeah, it looks like there was really only one landed solid so far. Like you mentioned, Mondio came in there with that uppercut, but a lot, lots thrown, lots glancing off the sides of the, the gloves and the arms. And Mondillo trying to mix a kick in there with a little teep. And McCubbin's got to figure out how to cut some angles here yeah. and get inside because she's throwing those punches, but they're, they're just not getting there. way off the mark. Not getting there. And to Mondillo's credit, doing a nice job of using that length to keep her opponent at bay. You can see her You can see her making sure that she is keeping it on the outside. She continues to step back, making sure that she's got that distance. This looks like a concerted game plan. I mean, this is one of those things where she knew she had the big reach advantage. You can tell she's using it to her, her, to her advantage. And, and her coach has definitely told her, keep it on the outside, and she's doing it perfectly so far. Yeah, and the nose of McCubbin is bloodied up. Mondio just looks calm, cool, and collected. Big right hand, that stunned her opponent. This could be it. Mondio pushing McCubbin up against the cage. Lighten her up. Big shots are landing. Throwing heavy leather. McCubbin does fire back, but Mondio is landing big shot time after time. McCubbin still in this one. She got rocked on one of those punches. Another big punch and a kick that just misses. She's able to get a hold of her. Huge for her, Dave. Yeah, McCubbin now has Mondillo pushed up against the cage. Mondillo reverses, separates. 40 seconds remaining. And Can't McCubbin has taken, yeah, she has taken some big shots here in the first round. Another big right hand. Land. Landed clean right to the temple. Yeah, McCubbin doing everything he can. Everything she can is just to stop the barrage of punches. She might get through this round. Mondia firing right, and then a left, both of which connected. Throws a kick. Final seconds here of round number one. And Mondio looking pretty fresh as she stalks back to her McCubbin corner. McCubbin survives, though. McCubbin does stay in this fight. Smile across the face of Mondio. I'm Maria. Welcome to Cash Kingdom. What's up? It's Ray J. Welcome to the Cash and welcome to the Kingdom. Come by. We've got the best rates. 702-248-CASH. Yep, she's getting all the best rates. She's giving all the best cash. I just told her I need a new car. She said, Cash Kingdom is going to make it happen for you. Cash Kingdom got it. Right across from Mercedes-Benz, 7385 West Sahara. 702-248-CASH. 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 
And here we go back to the action from round number one. You see that reach advantage. Just so much to deal with for McCubbin. Mondillo doing a great job staying at bay. And McCubbin, the only time that she was really able to close the distance and clinch with her opponent is when she had eaten so many punches that her opponent in Mondillo had had come in and was trying to finish the fight. Yeah, that was all Mondillo right there. That is 100% her round. You got to wonder, it was that one-minute break enough for McCubbin to completely recover. Yeah, McCubbin is, is back to her feet, and she's bouncing around, looks ready to got go. Got a mouse over that left eye. Yep, she is she is busted up. The, the nose was bloodied in round number one, and like you just pointed out, Matt, that eye starting to swell pretty well on the left side of her face. Where we're at, we're only able to hear one corner. I did hear Mandio's corner saying, don't get frustrated that she was able, not able to finish that first round. That's good advice. You know, yeah. just keep doing what you're doing. Take the center of the cage like she is. Keep your opponent circling to the outside, and then hopefully she starts circling towards her power, which she's not right now. To her credit, McCubbin does very much seem like she is aware of what's going on, and she's firing right back. When they get in those exchanges, that's the only time that Mandio is exposed, but that's a lot to deal with, man. You're eating four or five punches to try to fire off one. A little bit of blood coming out of McCubbin's nose over there. Got a right again, hand. yep. Yeah. What about the confidence level, though, for McCubbin? I mean, she has eaten at least 30, 40 shots here and has not gone down. I mean, you got to wonder if, if that actually gives you some confidence. Yeah, she was close to going down in that first round, but managed to stick with it. It's those big right hands that Mondillo was able to load up that, that stunned her and walked her back to the cage. But, yeah, I mean, that's a good point, Matt. I mean, if she's able to take those shots, I mean, how many of these punches is Mondillo going to be able to right. throw until she starts to wear herself out? A couple of nice inside low kicks of offense there, yeah. here. Yeah. And Mondillo now. Mouth wide open. Mouth is starting to open up a little bit. Not only a sign of fatigue, but also makes you a lot more susceptible to potentially getting knocked out. Your opponent is able to connect. Nice leg kick. Yeah. Did put Mondillo off balance. And McCubbin there connects. Like we said, we wondered about that confidence level. Looks like she got a little pep in her step there midway through that through this round. Still got to find a way to get inside though, Dave. Like still standing on the outside right there, and it's going to be real tough to land anything from out there with with such a, a reach disadvantage. There she there goes. There she goes. She gets inside. She starts landing some punches. Yeah, when she puts her head down and just bulldogs like that, it's working. Round number two comes to a close. Better round for McCubbin. I don't know if she won it, though. Round number three is coming up. At Sport Clips, we are constantly looking for ways to bring the game to you. That includes our relaxing shampoo. Are you ready for your rinse? Maybe we should leave it like it is. The Sport Clips MVP experience. Great haircut, relaxing shampoo, and legendary hot steam towel. Sport Clips, it's good to be a guy. All right, here we go. Some of the action from round number two. Definitely a better round for McCubbin. You think she got the nod on the judges' scorecards let's, or not quite enough? Listen, this is one of those situations where maybe it goes to the hometown kid, right? I mean, every time she lands, the crowd goes crazy. They're not going crazy for the for the opponent here. You know, sometimes that can sway a judge. Absolutely. Let's see what happens. Third and final round is coming up. Doctor was in the cage taking a quick look there at McCubbin, make sure that the swelling wasn't getting too bad on the eyes. Said she looks just fine, and we will see a third and final round. Bouncing up and down. Yep. In round number two, Mondillo did look like she slowed down a little bit. 
Round number three coming out with a quickness, though. Does look like a concerted effort here. Yes, they see to, to close that gap. And Mondio looking for that single leg. Abandons it. Struggling for position. Nice knee to the body there from Mondio. Yeah. You see that sometimes when fatigue sets in, right? You don't want to sit there and throw 100 punches. You want to just get the fight to the ground where you can take a breather. Wasn't able to get that takedown. Yeah, and both eyes of McCubbin have taken a lot of damage. It's not swelling to the point where it's going to keep her from being able to see clearly, but you can, you can see the damage that... Mondio has done on the face of McCubbin. You kind of feel like, though, this last minute 54 right here is going to decide this fight. And both ladies smiling at each other yeah. in the third and final round. Respect for what they've both been able to do so far in this fun title fight. Listen, still good movement on both sides right here. This is one of those things where sometimes you see he gets the oh, oh, big right hand. Big right land. Mondeo drops McCubbin. Now she's got the back. She's looking for the submission. Is it looks under like the chin? Under, looks like this she's under the it. And McCubbin's McCubbin still trying to run it off. Away. That is the end, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Tyone waves off the fight. She did. I don't think she tapped, I don't Dave. think she did either. She had separated the arms. I thought I she was, was pulling the hand off. Yeah, I think I think that may have been a mistake on the part of the referee. She did pull the hand off, but it looked like it, it was close to being finished. I think the referee stepped in thinking that she may have submitted her, and Mondio was letting it go, and you hear the reaction from the crowd. I thought and she had ripped the arm off. She had. And that she was when he stopped had. the fight. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a tough way to lose in a title fight for McCubbin. Now, Mondio, to her credit, did a fantastic job. It may have very well been on the way to winning that fight. Don't get us wrong. But, but let, let's watch it here again. So, uh, see, so what happened was, yeah, She's yeah. She's reaching for that other arm. But when she reached for it, she, like, it two, looked, three tap. It looked like a tap. I don't know if I fault the referee that much for stepping so in there. So, visually, that, it looks like a tap. She was actually grabbing for, for the arm is what happened and she yeah. was coming up short and it looked like a tap yeah and, and she's explaining to her corner right now she's very upset with what happened and and i would be as well if i'm mccubbin i don't think the referee it was an error in judgment but let's watch it again easily mistaken so it looks so tight that she may be so tapping out right here the first and one. right there like it's it's a one two three that may have been a tap matt i don't know i mean she's protesting it right now but from a referee's perspective, I mean, Dave she looks like upset. she's going to sleep. I mean, very upset. I mean, Here's Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 40 seconds into the third round, referee Chris Tyone calls a stop to the fight for your winner by tap out to the rear naked choke and new top it up women's straw weight champion of the world, Nadine. Too much, Mandio. Standing inside here in the cage with your winner. I know we got a lot of fight fans, a lot of angry fight fans. Sometimes the fight doesn't go your way, sometimes it does. But we got to remember that the referees and the doctors are always looking out for the safety of the fighters so that they can come out and put on a show for you again. We got to remember that all these fighters come out here and put it on the line for free. You guys train hard, no matter what the outcome is. You want to thank anybody out here tonight? Um, well, first and foremost, and I think you guys will like this, but I want to thank Destiny. Uh, one thing that my wrestling coach, Taylor Johnson, he's also an LFA fighter, and just wait till he gets to the UFC. He told me this morning is, you have, to, you have to understand that the person that steps into the cage with you has the same dream as you, has the same goal as you, and for that fact, I have the utmost respect for her and for stepping in here today. Other than that, thanks everybody from San Diego! They came out, woo, make some noise! Yeah, there you go! Um, 
Macon, Georgia, who's watching. Rush MMA where it started. And the really cool thing is my family and friends in Belgium are watching this on the live stream right now. So thank you guys so much for making me a better person. Love y'all. All right, congratulations, Nadine.